Hey, hey, hey there, pedal people. It's the pedal guy here. How you doing? Today, what we're going to do is we are going to capture our very first impulse response into the new X Solid Studio pedal. But before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. The feature I'm about to show you here is the ability to record the essence of your very favorite guitar cabinet um, and record that into the Solid Studio. So you can take this pedal with you and you can leave the cabinet behind, which is a great feature indeed, especially for us traveling musicians. Uh, it's a very simple process. You don't even need a computer to create the impulse response, but you do need to make sure that you download and install the latest firmware before you get going. So just simply go to the video description below and we'll provide a link to the NewX website where you can easily find the uh, firmware updater and install it and there you go. So now let's go ahead and go over the routing to make this work. Routing the signal to capture your first impulse response couldn't be easier. So let's just go ahead and cover that really quick. What we're doing is we're taking the output of the Solid Studio and we're routing that to the input of our amp. In this case, we're using an orange micro terror. And from there, we are going out of the micro terror and we're going to our cabinet. Now, in our case here, we're using an Axe Track isolation cabinet, but you can use any cabinet you want as long as it's compatible with the amplifier. Um, and keep in mind that this is just an example. There are so many microphones out there, there are so many cabinets, there are so many mic placements. It's just a whole bunch, uh, a whole a whole bunch of different combinations that you can apply to this. So uh, it, you, we're using this more as an example rather than how to capture the very best impulse response you possibly can because it takes a lot of trial and error to get that sound. So just keep that in mind. Um, so from the uh, Axe track, we're going to our microphone preamp. And from our microphone preamp, we're going right to the input of the Solid Studio. And that is it. So there's no guitar, there's no computer, it's just simply the Solid Studio, your amp, your cabinet, your mic pre, and that's it. And now let's cover how to uh, capture our impulse response. First thing you want to do is you want to unplug the impulse response. Secondly, you want to hold down the cab mic and amp foot switches. Hold them down as you plug the Solid Studio back in. And from there, you should see the amp and the cab mic lights, uh, the LEDs light up there. And it's going back and forth, as you can see. And we are now in impulse capture mode. So all we have to do now is just select a destination. In this case here, I'm going to use the top one, which is the Jay-Z 120. That's the jazz chorus. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, record an impulse into the Solid Studio by simply pressing the cab mic button. And what you're going to hear is you're going to hear a sweep sound. It's very quick, very brief, but that's all there is to it. So here we go. Couldn't be any easier, right? We've now captured an impulse response into the Solid Studio. How easy is that, honestly? So now let's go ahead and plug in an amp and have a listen to what we have recorded into the Solid Studio. Okay, so we're now back to square one. Uh, we have uh, plugged in our British Invasion amp from uh, Hot Tone that's going straight into the Solid Studio. And from there, it's going straight to our audio interface here. So let's have a listen. Let's bring the guitar up. Okay, we're not using any speaker simulation out of the uh, British Invasion. This is plain Jane. If we want to make it a little cleaner sounding so you can really hear the nuance. Okay, so it's pretty clean, uh, but that is without a cabinet. So if I were to say turn up the gain, um, we'd probably get something that doesn't sound so pleasant. Yuck. Okay, that's because we are not using a cabinet. Well, here we go. So turn on the cabin mic button. 
and now we have our impulse response. <laughs> Uh, let's also kill the microphone so you can get a better listen. All right, so uh, there you go. That is all you have to do in order to record your own impulse response into the Solid Studio. Now, once you've done that, you can now go ahead and turn on the amp button, and you can uh, put a little power amp behind it if you want to. Uh, but we can also, let's just take one step back, we can turn on the gain a little bit, and so you can hear what this sounds like in full throttle mode. So if we want to turn the amp on, there we go, and uh, the EL34, it's typically that, that jack of all trades. Uh, we can just turn the drive down because we've got plenty of drive coming from the amp itself. Roll that presence off. Also introduce a little reverb to it as well. Okay, so that in essence is a very quick demonstration of how to use the Solid Studio to record your own impulse responses into the pedal. Um, now, as I mentioned before, this is a very brief demo, so you want to experiment with this a little bit. Have a little fun with it. Try different combinations. You don't have to use exactly what I'm using. Use a, uh, use a different amplifier. Use a different cabinet. Use different microphone placements. Um, have a little fun with it, right? Uh, so in any case, for more information on this pedal and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguy.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.